Hey YouTube, Savon Draws here. I'm just making a quick video that's an update on all the things coming to Procreate Dreams in version 1.1. So we can see here from Michael Shaw that in version 1.1, they've been working on transformation tools like we've been asking since the release. So they're working on selections in drawn paint mode, including lasso. And you know, it's kind of funny that we don't have these yet because I believe um, Aaron Blaze, one of the animators who made a promotional animation, Procreate Dreams, said we have that there was a lasso in the beta version of Procreate Dreams and we still don't have it. Um, but aside from that, we also have transform and draw and paint, adjustments and draw and paint, cut, copy and paste, merging of layers, control over fix versus dynamic scale painting. So it seems as if they're keeping the dynamic scale painting where your pixel count is less precise the more zoomed out you are, but they say they're going to make it work more seamlessly. I don't know if I'm a fan of that. We also will have brush sliders with size and opacity memory, stabilization options that work individually on each brush, a quicker method to change the duration within the timeline, that will help because you really get stuck on the duration in that app. Advanced exporting, timeline editing improvement. So I guess they'll be adding a lot of drag and drop improvement because that's necessary. A GIF import and export, customizable keyboard support. That's amazing. We've been asking for customizable keyboard support for years on Procreate. The Procreate forum has uh has a forum going about 10 years back where people have just been begging for customizable keyboard support but we're also getting video transparency playback and export that would be amazing improved color space handling with imported videos and luminance mass i actually don't know what that is and you can see here, they say, we're really looking forward to delivering these core features. Thank you for your continued support and bearing with us. Hopefully on version 1.1, <laughs> it won't be like an alpha program anymore. <laughs> I wouldn't even call it a beta, but I'm very excited to see what Procreate Dreams can do because I think the painting in it is very seamless. Despite its problems, I think it has a better timeline solution than other animation programs on the iPad though it definitely needs improvements. And most importantly, I'm just interested in how the, the drawing experience is great and the painting experience is nice too because it's just copying Procreate. So I just want to see how many of those effects, effects options we can use just to composite our animations all in one application without having to go to several different applications just to add very nice colors to animation. That's all for today. Hope you have a good one. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, subscribe. Have a good one.